If you've ever come across a bird's nest, you know they're a remarkable feat of design. Built from sticks, these nests focus on both detail and comfort. What's even more impressive is that they're made by a creature with no hands, using only its beak and feet. That's ingenuity. The parents chose to nest atop a 400-foot peak. From nests meant to attract a mate to those crafted by both male and female birds to raise their young, here are 15 of the most incredible nests in the animal kingdom. Number 15, Weaver Bird Nest. This bright yellow bird builds a stunning nest to attract a mate. During mating season, it's the male's job to create this intricate structure. Unusual, right? But the weaver bird takes on the challenge, crafting the basic nest with impressive skill. The process is complex, and so is the nest. The weaver begins nesting in August and continues until February, a long, demanding task. By March, he's probably ready for a break. The nest itself is a work of art. The bird starts by tying a knot with a long blade of grass, then weaves strips of grass, leaves, twigs, and roots, using only his beak and feet, until he forms a ball-shaped nest hanging securely from a tree. His strong beak helps him cut materials, and with his feet, he ties real knots, ensuring the nest is incredibly sturdy. Not only is he clever and resourceful, but he's also fast, finishing a nest in just two days. The nest is said to be 100% waterproof and can withstand violent storms. This little guy certainly knows his craft. Number 14, Hammercop. The nest-building habits of hammercops in central Mali are truly intriguing. Not only is their nest a huge project, but both members of the pair work together on it. Like humans, they communicate throughout the process to ensure the nest meets their needs. The female spends the most time building, with most activity taking place in the early morning. These large, enclosed nests are built year-round and are so big they could easily fit a human. Each pair may construct up to five nests annually, though they only occupy them briefly. Instead of constantly building new nests, they often return to or renovate old ones. The height of the nest depends on the site, and the entrance faces the direction of the tree. With its brown feathers and hammer-shaped head, the hammercop is a distinctive and legendary bird. Found throughout Africa, it carries a mysterious reputation, often linked to bad omens like lightning, leprosy, and death. So, maybe it's a bird best left alone. Number 13, Ruby-Throated Hummingbird. The hummingbird's nest is as beautiful as it is practical. Built entirely by the female, its design clearly reflects her tastes. The male, however, plays almost no role at all, aside from mating, he doesn't help with choosing the nesting site, gathering materials, or raising the chicks. A classic example of an absent father. The female works tirelessly, spending hours each day for up to a week gathering materials for her nest. She collects moss, lichen, plant down from thistles, dandelions, cattails, spider silk, cotton fibers, small pieces of bark or leaves, feathers, fuzz, and even fur. She weaves them into a dense, cup-shaped nest that provides excellent camouflage from predators. The result is truly stunning. She's not just hardworking, she's incredibly clever. The nest is designed to prevent the eggs from tipping in high winds, and the spider silk makes it elastic, allowing it to expand as her babies grow. The female hummingbird is both a devoted mother and a genius in nest making. Number 12, Bald Eagle Nest. It's no surprise that one of the largest bird nests in the world was built by bald eagles, and may have been refurbished by their successors. Located near St. Petersburg, Florida, USA, the nest measured an impressive 2.9 meters wide and 6 meters deep, weighing over 2 tons. It must have been an enormous tree to support such a massive structure. Examined in 1963, it was confirmed as a genuine bird-built nest. Both the male and female eagles worked together on the nest, gathering and arranging materials while bonding. Unlike many other birds, bald eagles may use the same nest each year, adding 1 to 2 feet of new material. If they successfully raise young, they return to the same nest and territory. However, if the previous nest was unsuccessful, they may build a new one. Building begins one to three months before mating and is an important part of the breeding process. The eagles carefully select every material, interwoven sticks form a solid base, while the interior is lined with grass, corn stalks, and other soft materials for comfort. Moss is added, possibly acting as an insect repellent. A clever touch by the eagle parents. Number 11, Edible Nest Swiftlet. 
Like the witch's house in Hansel and Gretel, this bird's nest is edible. Not only is it eco-friendly, but it's also handy when mom and her babies are hungry. The nest, often found in the Andaman Islands in the Bay of Bengal, is cozy and unique. The swiftlet is a tiny bird, measuring just 12 centimeters long and weighing around 18 grams. It, along with its relative the glossy swiftlet, lives in limestone caves in the Andaman Islands, nesting in dark, hidden spots. Using echolocation, the swiftlet navigates by bouncing sound waves off surfaces. Their nesting sites are carefully chosen for safety, as these small birds are vulnerable to predators like bats, cats, and rats. These birds build edible nests made from their solidified saliva, which are considered a rare delicacy in Chinese cuisine. Though the idea of eating a saliva-based nest might turn some off, others enjoy it. The nests turn a golden hue in sunlight, earning them the nickname White Gold and a hefty price of around $4,000 per kilogram. Sadly, humans are the swiftlet's biggest predator, and the bird is now listed as endangered. Number 10, European Bee Eater. These small, colorful birds burrow into sandy banks, usually near river shores, around May. Similar to rabbits, the bee eater digs a long tunnel to lay five to eight eggs. Both the male and female care for the eggs, feeding and roosting together, and tend to their brood for about three weeks. During courtship, the male finds food for the female, offering her larger prey while he eats the smaller ones. They mainly feed on insects, especially bees, wasps, and hornets, removing the sting before eating. The male steps up his efforts before and during egg laying, ensuring his mate is well fed. Most males are monogamous, sticking to one partner and being very attentive to their duties. Bee eaters breed in warmer climates, including southern Europe, parts of North Africa, and Western Asia, and are highly migratory, spending winters in tropical Africa. Number 9, Sociable Weaver. Unlike most birds, including their close relatives, the weavers, sociable weavers use and maintain their nests year-round. Their colonies can range from just 10 to as many as 500 birds, and their nests are built at impressive heights. From a distance, these nests look like small haystacks perched on trees or telephone poles, quite a sight. Creating these massive nests takes a lot of work, and the sociable weaver does it all, while other birds enjoy the benefits. These community nests provide shelter and shade for various birds and other creatures. For example, at the Teswalu Kalahari Private Game Reserve in South Africa, a variety of animals, including paper wasps, make use of the weaver's nest chambers. The paper wasps build their nests beneath the weavers, while birds like the acacia pike barbet, ashy tit, and red-headed finch roost in them. Baboons and mongooses use the nests for foraging, and wild cats like leopards and cheetahs often rest or use the nests for a better view of the landscape. These large, thatch-like nests last for many years and are big enough to house over a hundred pairs of birds across several generations. Now that's impressive. Number 8. Horned Coot. The horned coot's nest is a cleverly designed floating raft, built to withstand the changing conditions of sitting on water. This rare species is found in lakes across northwest Argentina, southwest Bolivia, and northeastern Chile, usually at altitudes of 3,000 to 5,200 meters above sea level. Like the European bee-eater, horned coots are monogamous and sometimes breed in colonies of up to 80 pairs. The males are slightly larger than the females, reaching up to 62 centimeters in length and weighing about 2 kilograms. Horned coots build large nests, typically made from pebbles piled high to create an artificial island. These islands reach the water surface and are usually located about 40 meters from the shore of their breeding lakes. The nests are covered with algae and can weigh up to 1.5 tons due to the large amount of pebbles used. Number 7, Jur Falcon, Falco rusticulus. The Jur Falcon certainly makes life difficult for predators. These birds typically nest on cliff edges or in the nests of other species like common ravens and golden eagles. Both the male and female visit several cliff faces and trees before selecting a suitable breeding site. Their nests are simple, ranging from bare or debris-covered soil to a structure of dead sticks, often with little or no lining. The jur falcon doesn't build the nest itself, but both the male and female contribute by scraping a hollow depression in the center of an existing nest. These birds breed in Arctic and Alpine tundra regions of northern Canada and Alaska, where trees are scarce. Their habitat is rich with nesting seabirds or waterfowl, including rocky seacoasts, 
offshore islands, river and lake bluffs, and mountainous terrain. The low vegetation in these areas, including sedge, cotton grass, lichen, moss, willow, and birch, is reflected in the simplicity of their nests. Jur falcons primarily hunt willow ptarmigan and rock ptarmigan, but they also prey on other birds like seabirds, waterfowl, shorebirds, and songbirds, as well as mammals such as hares, ground squirrels, lemmings, and young arctic foxes. Number 6. Little Grebe. The little grebe, or dab chick, is the smallest European member of the grebe family. Measuring just 10 inches on average, this excellent swimmer and diver is commonly found in open bodies of water. It skillfully hunts fish and aquatic invertebrates underwater, using surrounding vegetation for cover. Like other grebes, it breeds in small colonies and nests at the water's edge. The nest sits on a floating platform of vegetation, concealed by extra foliage. Unfortunately, the nest is vulnerable to changes in water levels, which can either flood it after heavy rain or leave it stranded in drought conditions. The little grebe typically lays four to seven eggs, hiding them from predators when it leaves to forage. After hatching, the chicks can leave the nest and are often carried on the backs of swimming adults. They breed during the rainy season in heavily vegetated areas of freshwater lakes across Europe, much of Asia, and even in New Zealand. Number 5. Common Tailor Bird. Not all nests are the same, and the common tailor bird certainly proves that. Unlike many birds that use twigs and dry grass, this small bird from tropical Asia takes a unique approach. As its name suggests, it sows its nest using leaves, spiderwebs, and fine grass or plant fibers. The nest is a remarkable creation. The edges of a large leaf are pierced and stitched together to form a cradle, inside which the bird builds its grass nest. This is where the tailor bird raises its bright, colorful chicks, usually with green or gray upper parts and yellow, white, or gray underparts. Small in size, with short wings, a short tail, strong legs, and a long curved bill, the tailor bird often sports a chestnut-colored head. It's typically found in open woodlands, scrub, and gardens. Number 4. African Jackana. The female African Jackana is larger than the male and has multiple mates, leaving the male to care for the offspring, a unique arrangement among birds. This system evolved due to two factors, the lakes they inhabit are rich in resources, requiring minimal energy from the female to produce each egg, and either parent can incubate the eggs equally well. Once the chicks hatch, the male incubates the eggs and carries the chicks under his wings, keeping them warm and dry until they're nearly three weeks old. These birds breed across sub-Saharan Africa, laying brown glossy eggs with irregular black markings. Their nests float on water, made from aquatic vegetation. Near the water's edge, the nest is partially submerged, and in deeper water, it sits on a small raft-like structure made from vegetation. Number 3. Woodpecker. Woodpeckers are vibrant, colorful birds often found in forests and woodlands. They're known for foraging on tree trunks and branches and communicating through drumming with their beak. This drumming sound can be heard from a distance, making it an effective communication tool. Woodpeckers nest and roost in holes excavated by the male, with help from the female, who taps around the hole to signal her approval. They choose dead trees or dead parts of live trees for nesting sites. Both parents contribute to building the nest, using materials like straw, grass, feathers, and bark. These are woven together and shaped with the bird's breast until everything is interlaced, with feathers placed in the nest bowl. Once the nest is no longer in use, it is abandoned, and other cavity nesting birds may take over. There are about 200 species of woodpeckers worldwide, but they do not live in extreme polar regions, Australia, New Zealand, New Guinea, or Madagascar. Number 2. Great Hornbill. Like woodpeckers, great hornbills nest in tree cavities or rock crevices. However, their nests are nearly sealed shut, leaving only a narrow vertical slit for access. This unique design serves as a crucial defense mechanism. The female is sealed inside the nest while awaiting her chicks hatching, ensuring protection for both her and her babies. The opening is wide enough for the male to pass food through, but narrow enough to keep out predators like monkeys, raptors, and other egg-eating animals. Though capable of building their own nests, great hornbills often take over an old woodpecker nest, which they enlarge with fungus. Once the female approves her chosen nest, the male adds to it by constructing a mud wall from the outside, 
using soil mixed with saliva, droppings, chewed wood, and bark. The female helps from the inside. Once the wall is complete, the female is trapped inside, with only a small hole for the male to bring food and communicate. No worries about claustrophobia for this hornbill. Number 1, Purple Moorhen. The purple moorhen, also called the water hen or swamp chicken, is a water-dwelling bird known for its vibrant, triangle-shaped bill that extends into a red shield on its head. It has long legs, slender toes, and fine claws. Males and females look alike, but there are 13 subspecies with varying sizes and colors, from purple and blue to bronze, green, and pale chestnut. The purple moorhen nests in well-vegetated marshes, lakes, ponds, canals, and even city parks. Its nest, resembling a woven basket, is built on the ground in dense vegetation. Breeding season runs from mid-March to mid-May in the northern hemisphere, with each female laying about eight eggs, fewer if laid later in the season. Both parents incubate the eggs and care for the chicks, which become independent after just three weeks. Imagine if human babies grew up that quickly, it would make things very interesting. The purple moorhen has been creating fascinating and functional nests for centuries, perfectly suited to its environment.